Hey guys and welcome back to Adrift. The the slowest moving fucking floaty piece of shit ever. I'm being a bit harsh, I'm probably being a bit harsh. <laughs> so I actually last night after recording the uh the first episode of this series, I had a little chat with um uh my good friend Enter Elysium about this game. And I was basically asking him like personal log. System specialist, McDonough, Andrew, 17, April, 2037. Have I? I feel like I've been through here. Finally going home. I have been through here. Doesn't even seem real. Um, so I was asking him if it gets any more, like, survivally, any more tense, anything like that. Uh, if the fucking game moves along any faster. Um, if the story's even fucking interesting. And no, turns out it's fucking not. Both of those promises by taking another selfish paycheck job while real life passes me by down below. Ow. Father of the year. What Alex am I supposed really to be doing here? For me on this. I owe her one. Can't wait to get off this goddamn station. Um, so yeah, apparently, uh... So I said to Enter Elysium, I was like, I was like, dude, so I've, I've played it for like a little bit and I was just going to blast it out. Like I was going to spend today blasting, blasting the game out and just upload the full fucking thing because I know I'm a bit behind on the game, but I, I kind of wanted to see like how, how it went down. We read all this in the last episode, so we're just skipping past it. And he was like, honestly, dude, you'd be better off giving yourself um, a four hour fucking toilet break. Or playing the game for about 20 minutes, and then not playing it again. Oh, looks like I fucked my visor again. Yeah, he's in... I don't know, I kinda... I kinda trust his, uh... Opinion, when it comes to stuff like this. Fucking calm yourself in, Jesus. Right, let's uh, let's stop breaking shit. So yeah, it's uh, I don't know, I kind of got that on the last episode, I'm not sure if you guys got it, that it was going to be a bit, like, super slow paced and, hmm, I don't know. Yoink. And we're going into this little chunk down here. But yeah, like the, the game looks like mega interesting, it's just... I don't know. I just, everything's just a bit slow and I was wondering how the um... How everything was going to kind of pan out to see if it was worth covering it. But like, if you guys are enjoying it, if you guys are enjoying my commentary, obviously that's something completely different. Um, and we'll uh, we'll just keep going. But I I did say to to E, it says based on his recommendation, I'm going to be having a look at the the likes etc. Very fucking closely, like a lot closer than I normally do, to see uh, not the likes the um the views to see if it's a series that is worth continuing with. So, uh, if the views drop off, I'm definitely going to be a bit harsher about chopping this game, about cutting it, than I would be otherwise. Especially with story-driven games. Um, I asked him roughly how long it would take, and he said it's about 45 hours. And 45 hours is a decent number of episodes. So, I don't really want to... I don't really want to end up using, like, that many episodes. Where I could be covering different shit. I could just, could just double up Factorio or something like that if it's going to be relatively worthless. I know it's like, well this is one of the, this is one of the, the big downsides. The game looks fucking phenomenal. Wonk. Okay. <laughs> fucking Gladys is freaking the fuck out. Male Gladys. Um, game looks beautiful. But... 
don't know. It's just a bit... Blah. There just doesn't seem to be an awful lot going in. Oh yeah, obviously I'm Alex. Oh, someone was telling me, like, Studio, you're Alex. And I was like, how'd you know? But it tells me my name in the bottom left. Ooh. See, it's just, like, it looks amazing. The game just looks so beautiful. I was expecting, like, Firewatch in space type levels of gameplay. Yoink. And I do like the floating around space. It's very nice. However, it would be very nice if we could just do the, um, the classic space thing of just being able to speed up just constantly. That'd be lovely. I don't think your actual velocity can go much higher than this. I think the, the boost just gives you a faster change in velocity. Jump. I mean, we'll keep playing, we'll keep going the, the way that I normally do, and I will be, like I says, I'll just be very stringent when it comes to um, exactly when I decide to cut the cut the series. Or, I mean, like, if it gets decent enough views all the way, we'll just keep doing it. Alex, I don't think there's any more survivors, my dear. Do you really need to open it fully? <laughs> Jeez. Um, no, that's on the other side of that door. Let's go this way. Actually... Yeah, fuck it, let's just go this way. Let's go the way it's asking me to go. We still don't know what's happened here, interestingly enough. Secure the backup SSD. Audio terminal version 4.3 located. Multiple audio terminals detected and online. Location coordinates unknown. Uh, okay, so obviously we can. Incoming communication. Hardeman Aerospace confirmation of transfer. 16 April 2037. Transfer status approved. Approver, Commander, Oshima, Alex. That's me. Recipient, Systems Specialist, McDonough, Andrew. Mission, North Star 4. Departure date, 8 July 2037. Method, Resupply Shuttle. Destination, Hardeman Aerospace Launch Facility, Santa Monica, California. Replacement, Collins, Misha, Indigo Kai. Alright, I've got an SSD. Excuse me, one of 25 collected? Jesus. So you're gonna play my game? Boop. I'm obviously not worried about collecting all the stuff. But I definitely don't mind floating around for a bit. A fucking logo, man. It's just like Atari. It just reminds me of the Atari logo. Boost. Oh, I'm going back outside. Personal log, system specialist, McDonough, Andrew, 2, July, 2037. Ouch. Home in six days. Feels like 600. I'm gonna do it different this time. Yeah. Nice, some tunes to, to get me walloped with a, a lovely little copyright claim. It's exactly what I like to see. If I get hit with a copyright claim, I am going to be so fucking salty. Just you wait. You'll see it all over Twitter, don't you worry. Uh, whack. I know, man, there's just so many little things that are just so beautiful in this game. 
and I feel like so much could have been done to make this feel, I know, like, even just to make it feel tense, I mean, like, right now I'm not, I don't feel like anything tense is happening. I'm floating through space, my spaceship's fucked, and, like, I don't, is it just me, or are you guys getting that as well? It's like, it feels like I'm going for a fucking leisurely jaunt as opposed to a life or death situation here. Thanks. I don't think it was that funny, but... Thanks for the applause, guys. I do appreciate it. Makes me know I'm worthwhile as a human being. Yeah, it's like... My oxygen's barely depleted, and I know that I'm going to get up to this, uh, this thing here, and there's going to be tons of oxygen at it. And there is, there's like three different things. I copy. Happy. Roger, roger. You shall be mine, Mr. Oxygen Bottle. Okay, so let's head towards this next audio log then, I suppose. Oh, that's an EVE station. Nice. Can you repair my shit? Ow. Obviously not then, Jesus. Whack. Already been to that one. It's like we've barely used any oxygen and there's like, oh look at that, more oxygen. Easy peasy. Whee! I like just flinging the oxygen away. Oh look at that, we've just had some more oxygen and what's that? Oh look, more oxygen. <laughs> like Warning. Hand for administra. Series four. Version two point three. Unable to establish communication connection with mission control. Sorry, I'm just going to float halfway across the empty void that is fucking space. Find out what this thing is. Am I going to get scudded by one of these things? You are receiving a global information network update. Sources are reporting that a single survivor has been detected alive within the wreckage of an all star 4. While Hardeman Aerospace has yet to confirm or deny, early reports are identifying the survivor as North Star 4 Mission Commander Alex Hiroshima. Activity detected aboard the station indicates the survivor is uninjured, following disaster protocol and preparing an emergency return to Earth. For instant updates, stay connected to Global Information Network Stream. I don't know where we're supposed to be going from here. Ah, uh, down, uh, down to here, I guess. Ah, seems like I'm running out of oxygen pretty rapidly. Ouch. I don't know what the fuck she's doing. Dying. Oh, sad. Well then. See, that didn't even see. I don't know, man. It wasn't even frightening. I didn't feel filled with fear. The fact that I was supposed to be. Suffocating. I don't know how I fucked that one up though. I probably fucked up because I wasn't supposed to go out there. That was probably the full top and bottom of that, to be fair. It does look like that. Nice to see it was my idea, say though, that, that, that caused that, not not me, uh, not the fact that the game is incredibly easy. North Star 4. Crew status. Medical officer Edwards, Liam. Deceased. Scientist Hudson, Elizabeth. Deceased. Nice. Astronaut, Lopez, Teresa. Deceased. Systems specialist McDonough, Andrew. 
Deceased. Astronaut, Olivier, Sebastian. Deceased. Commander, Oshima, Alex. Active. That's a shame. All your buddies are dead, Alex. Yeah, I thought that that seemed a bit difficult, what I was doing there. Probably because I was going the completely wrong fucking direction. Well, at least we got to explore that thing and get walloped by it. That was fun. We. That's a different fucked thing to the fuck thing that we went out and explored. That was a fucked thing that I went out and explored. I was going to grab this oxygen. Aerospace North Star 4. Core system status. Spiritus mainframe. Offline. Vocalist mainframe. Offline. Solaris mainframe. Offline. Mobilis mainframe. Offline. Manual mainframe repair required for salvage EEV operation and launch. Well, there's a lot of shit offline. This thing here looks, uh, it's pretty fucked. Whee! <laughs> I just love launching the oxygen bottles. I don't know, it'd, nice to, it'd be nice to, uh, to have unlimited oxygen and like be able to to fly at a decent speed and just like charge around and explore the place more than anything else that would be fun i would enjoy that i know it's just not it's not as tense as it should be it should be like super fucking tense and i am just not feeling it right now Right, let's go and grab this little biznitch. I'm gonna have to bash this oxygen with me while he fucking fucks around with the SSD. There we go. What even are you doing? There we go. Okay. Activating the spirited system terminal. Mainframe online. Yay. Initializing hand for EVA diagnostic sequence. EVA also, most of my stuff's fucked. Detected. Initialized EVA oxygen repair. EVA oxygen capacity 100%. Hey, that's helpful. Diagnostic environment. Can you fix the rest of the ship, please? No, apparently not. Cerebrum core corrupt. Cerebrum core fabrication. Apparently they thought that a good idea is mean that if your EVA suit was a bit fucked, then you had to kind of go everywhere to fix your EVA, because fuck getting it all fixed in a oney. You know what I mean? Fuck now. Cerebrum module repair required. Because that's intelligence. Alright. Oh, this is what we need. Stick up your butt. I don't know where else you're going to shove it. Unless it's got, like, sticky tape. Welp, we've got a bit more oxygen. It's always nice. So at least now we can go a bit further without having to refill, even though it doesn't make any fucking difference whatsoever. I guess we're going to go into this wee hole here. Yep. Survivor detected. Verifying identification. 
location. Stand by. No worries, pal. But that's going to have to do us for this episode. So, as always, do remember that if you enjoyed the episode, to drop a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But I've been Steve, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.